Hi folks, this is my third video on solar system series, briefly discussing on planets. I have published videos on Neptune and Mercury. If you haven't seen them, I have made the links below. In this video, we, I meant we, because my daughter and I will be briefly discussing on planet Saturn and increase your curiosity on how it may have helped life to form on Earth. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest planet in our solar system. Like fellow gas giant Jupiter, Saturn is a massive ball made mostly of hydrogen and helium. Saturn is not only the planet to have rings, but none as spectacular or as complex as Saturn's. Let's dive a little deep into Saturnian system. Saturn was known to the ancients, including Babylonians, Far Eastern and Southern Asian observers. Well, a fun fact, all the planets in our solar system is named after Roman gods. With the exception of Uranus, moons, all other moons in our solar system are named after Greek myth. Saturn name is the Roman god of agriculture and wealth, who was also the father of Jupiter. This, in Greek, they call Saturn as Cronus. Now over to my daughter. I will see you at the end. Saturn took shape when the rest of the solar system formed about 4.5 billion years ago, when gravity pulled swirling gas and dust in to become a gas giant. About 4 billion years ago, Saturn settled into its current position in the outer solar system, where it is the sixth planet from the Sun. It's the farthest planet from Earth that's visible to the naked human eye, but the planet's most outstanding features, its rings, are better viewed through a telescope. Although the other gas giants in the solar system, Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune also have rings, Saturn's rings are particularly prominent, earning it the nickname the Ringed Planet. Saturn's atmosphere is composed primarily of hydrogen, 96%, and helium, 3%, with traces of other substances like methane, ammonia, acetylene, ethane, propane, and phosphine. Winds in the upper atmosphere can reach 1,600 feet per second in the equatorial region. In contrast, the strongest hurricane force winds on Earth top out at about 360 feet per second. And the pressure, the same kind you feel when you dive deep underwater, is so powerful it squeezes gas into a liquid. Winds in the upper atmosphere reaching speeds of 500 meters a second, these combined with heat rising from within the planet's interior cause yellow and gold bands. Saturn's environment is not conducive to life as we know it. The temperatures, pressures, and materials that characterize this planet are most likely too extreme and volatile for organisms to adapt to. While planet Saturn is an unlikely place for living things to take hold, the same is not true of some of its many moons. Sat satellites like Enceladus and Titan, home to internal oceans, could possibly support life. At Saturn's center is a dense core of metals like iron and nickel surrounded by rocky material and other compounds solidified by intense pressure and heat. It is enveloped by liquid metallic hydrogen inside a layer of liquid hydrogen, like Jupiter's core but considerably smaller. Fun fact, it's hard to imagine, but Saturn is the only planet in our solar system with an average density that is less than water. The giant gas planet could float in a bathtub if such a colossal thing existed. Cassini mission to Saturn revealed in great detail the true wonders of a planet. A giant world ruled by raging storms and delicate harmonies of gravity. A small comparison of Earth versus Saturn. With a radius of 58,232 kilometers, Saturn is nine times wider than Earth. If Earth were the size of a nickel, Saturn would be about as big as a volleyball. 
From an average distance of 1.4 billion kilometers, Saturn is a 9.5 astronomical units away from the Sun. One astronomical unit is the distance from the Sun to the Earth. It takes sunlight 80 minutes to reach Saturn, compared to 8 minutes to Earth. Saturn has the second shortest day in the solar system. One day on Saturn takes only 10.7 hours, the time it takes for Saturn to rotate or spin around once. And Saturn makes a complete orbit around the Sun a year in Saturnian time in about 29.4 Earth years, or 10,756 Earth days. Its axis is tilted by 26.73 degrees with respect to its orbit around the Sun, which is like Earth's 23.5 degree tilt. This means that, like Earth, Saturn experiences seasons. In fact, over 760 Earths can fit inside Saturn. Galileo Galilei was the first to see Saturn's rings in 1610 although from his telescope the rings look more like handles or arms. 45 years later, in 1655, Dutch astronomer Christian Huygens, who had a more powerful telescope, later proposed that Saturn had a thin, flat ring. With better instruments, scientists continued to learn more about the structure and composition of the rings. Saturn's rings are thought to be pieces of comets, asteroid, or asteroids, or shattered moons that broke up before they reached the planet, torn apart by Saturn's powerful gravity. They are made of billions of small chunks of ice and rock coated with other materials such as dust. The ring particles mostly range from tiny dust-sized ice grains to chunks as big as a house. A few particles are as large as mountains. The rings would look mostly white if you looked at them from the cloud tops of Saturn, and interestingly, each ring orbits at a different speed around the planet. Data from Cassini science mission suggests that the rings most likely formed within the last 100 million years. Based on the observed rate, Saturn's rings will completely disappear within 300 million years at most. Saturn's ring system extends to about 282,000 kilometers from the planet. Vertical heights of main rings are about 30 feet, or 10 meters. Saturn's rings are almost as wide as the distance between the Earth and the Moon, so at first glance, they seem like an easy place to land and explore on foot. The rings are named alphabetically in the order they were discovered. Starting at Saturn and moving outward, there is the D-ring, C-ring, B-ring, Cassini division, which is 4,700 kilometers in width that separates rings A and B, A-ring, F-ring, G-ring, and finally the E-ring. Much farther out, there is the very, very, very faint Phoebe ring in the orbit of Saturn's moon, Phoebe. Saturn has more moons than any other planet. 20 new moons were discovered in 2019 alone, bringing the total to 82, three more than Jupiter. I want to briefly discuss about two moons, Titan and Enceladus. These two moons may harbor potential life. Titan is the largest moon in the Saturnian system slightly larger than planet Mercury, and is the second largest moon in our solar system, behind Jupiter's moon, Ganymede. Earth's moon is the fifth largest, by the way. The largest moon of Saturn is a high priority for planetary exploration. Titan is an ocean world and the only moon in our solar system with a dense atmosphere, which supports an Earth-like hydrological cycle of methane clouds rain and liquid flowing across the surface to fill lakes and seas. Titan's rivers, lakes, and seas of liquid, methane, and ethane might serve as a habitable environment on the moon's surface, though any life there would likely be very different from Earth's life. Cassini carried a passenger to the Saturn system, the European Huygens probe, the first human-made object to land on a world in the distant outer solar system. Enceladus. 
Saturn's moon, Enceladus, is a small, icy body, but Cassini mission revealed this ocean world to be one of the solar system's most scientifically interesting destinations. Cassini discovered that geyser-like jets spew water vapor and ice particles from an underground ocean beneath the icy crust of Enceladus. There are 101 geysers spotted at the moon's southern pole alone. With its global ocean, unique chemistry, and internal heat, Enceladus has become a promising lead in our search for worlds where life could exist. Cassini revealed the dramatic truth. Enceladus is an active moon that hides a global ocean of liquid salty water beneath its crust. They all point to the possibility of a habitable ocean world well beyond Earth's habitable zone. Planetary scientists now have Enceladus to consider as a possible habitat for life. I'll hand it back over to my father now. The first spacecraft to reach Saturn was Pioneer 11 in 1979, flying within 22,000 kilometers of the ring planet. Images from those spacecraft allowed astronomers to discover two of the planet's outer rings, as well as the presence of strong magnetic field. Then came Voyager. It helped astronomers to discover that planets' rings are made up of thinner ringlets. The craft also sent back data that led to discover three of Saturn's moons. Finally, the Cassini spacecraft, a Saturn orbiter, was the largest interplanetary spacecraft ever built. It helped identify plumes on the icy moons of Enceladus and carried the Huygen probe, which plunged through Titan's atmosphere to successfully land on its surface. Cassini finally plunged into Saturn's atmosphere on September 15, 2017, returning science data to the very end. While there are no future missions planned for Saturn, however, scientists have proposed missions to probe the icy moons Enceladus or Titan. These explorations could involve submarines or modified rovers. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe this channel as I have more interesting videos to post. Cheers and bye.